Darcy's law is a phenomenologically derived constitutive equation that describes the flow of a fluid through a porous medium. The law was formulated by Henri Darcy based on the results of experiments on the flow of water through beds of sand. It also forms the scientific basis of fluid permeability used in the earth sciences, particularly in hydrogeology. Background Although Darcy's law was determined experimentally by Darcy, it has since been derived from the Navier-Stokes equations via homogenization. It is analogous to Fourier's law in the field of heat conduction, Ohm's law in the field of electrical networks, or Fick's law in diffusion theory. One application of Darcy's law is to water flow through an aquifer. Darcy's law along with the equation of conservation of mass are equivalent to the groundwater flow equation, one of the basic relationships of hydrogeology. Darcy's law is also used to describe oil, water, and gas flows through petroleum reservoirs. Description Darcy's law at constant elevation is a simple proportional relationship between the instantaneous discharge rate through a porous medium, the viscosity of the fluid and the pressure drop over a given distance. The total discharge, Q is equal to the product of the intrinsic permeability of the medium, the cross-sectional area to flow, A, and the total pressure drop, all divided by the viscosity, mu and the length over which the pressure drop is taking place. The negative sign is needed because fluid flows from high pressure to low pressure. Note, the elevation head must be taken into account if the inlet and outlet are at different elevations. If the change in pressure is negative, then the flow will be in the positive x direction. Dividing both sides of the equation by the area and using more general notation leads, where Q is the flux and is the pressure gradient vector. This value of flux, often referred to as the Darcy flux, is not the velocity which the fluid traveling through the pores is experiencing. The fluid velocity is related to the Darcy flux by the porosity. If there is a pressure gradient, flow will occur from high pressure towards low pressure. The greater the pressure gradient, the greater the discharge rate, and the discharge rate of fluid will often be different through different formation materials, even if the same pressure gradient exists in both cases. A graphical illustration of the use of the steady-state groundwater flow equation is in the construction of flow nets to quantify the amount of groundwater flowing under a dam. Darcy's law is only valid for slow, viscous flow. Fortunately, most groundwater flow cases fall in this category. Typically any flow with a Reynolds number less than 1 is clearly laminar, and it would be valid to apply Darcy's law. Experimental tests have shown that flow regimes with Reynolds numbers up to the 10th of May still be Darchan, as in the case of groundwater flow. The Reynolds number for porous media flow is typically expressed as, where rho is the density of water, V is the specific discharge. D30 is a representative grain diameter for the porous media, and mu is the viscosity of the fluid. Derivation For stationary, creeping, incompressible flow, i.e., the Navier-Stokes equation simplify to the Stokes equation, where is the viscosity, is the velocity in the direction, is the gravity component in the direction and is the pressure. Assuming the viscous, resisting force is linear with the velocity we may write, where is the porosity, and is the second-order permeability tensor. This gives the velocity in the direction, which gives Darcy's law for the volumetric flux density in the direction. In isotropic porous media the off-diagonal elements in the permeability tensor are zero, for in the diagonal elements are identical, and the common form is obtained. Additional forms of Darcy's law Darcy's law for short time scales for very short time scales, a time derivative of flux may be added to Darcy's law, which results in valid solutions at very small times, where tau is a very small time constant which causes this equation to reduce to the normal form of Darcy's law at normal times. This form is more mathematically rigorous, but leads to a hyperbolic groundwater flow equation, which is more difficult to solve and is only useful at very small times, typically out of the realm of practical use.
Brinkman form of Darcy's law Another extension to the traditional form of Darcy's law is the Brinkman term, which is used to account for transitional flow between boundaries, where beta is an effective viscosity term. This correction term accounts for flow through medium where the grains of the media are porous themselves, but is difficult to use and is typically neglected. Darcy's law in petroleum engineering Another derivation of Darcy's law is used extensively in petroleum engineering to determine the flow through permeable media, the most simple of which is for a one-dimensional, homogeneous rock formation with a fluid of constant viscosity, where Q is the flow rate of the formation, K is the permeability of the formation, A is the cross-sectional area of the formation, mu is the viscosity of the fluid for gas flow in small characteristic dimensions. The particle wall interactions become more frequent giving rise to additional wall friction. For a flow in this region, where both viscous and Canusen friction are present, a new formulation needs to be used. Canusen presented a semi-empirical model for flow in transition regime based on his experiments on small capillaries. For a porous media, the Canusen equation can be given as, where N is the molar flux, Rg is the gas constant, T is the temperature, is the effective Canusen diffusivity of the porous media. The model can also be derived from first principles based binary friction model. The differential equation of transition flow in porous media based on BFM is given as, this equation is valid for capillaries as well as porous media. The terminology of Canusen effect in Canusen diffusivity is more common in mechanical and chemical engineering. In geological and petrochemical engineering, this effect is known as Klinkenberg effect. Using the definition of molar flux, the above equation can be rewritten as this equation can be rearranged into the following equation. Comparing this equation with conventional Darcy's law, a new formulation can be given as where this is equivalent to the effective permeability formulation proposed by Klinkenberg, where B is known as the Klinkenberg parameter, which depends on the gas and the porous medium structure. This is quite evident if we compare the above formulations. The Klinkerberg parameter B is dependent on permeability, Canusen diffusivity and viscosity. Validity of Darcy's law Darcy's law is valid for laminar flow through the soil. In fine-grained soil, the dimensions of interstices are small and thus flow is laminar. Coarse-grained soils also behave similarly but in very coarse-grained soil, the flow is of turbulent nature. Hence Darcy's law is not valid in such soils. For flow through commercial pipes, the flow is laminar when Reynolds number is less than 2000. But in some soils it has been found that flow is laminar when the value of Reynolds number is less than unity.